Dr. Smith is sitting on a rotatable chair. He can make a complete revolution if he pushes off with his foot. By pushing off with his foot, he generates angular momentum. And this angular momentum allows him to keep spinning in a circle until friction stops him. Now, can Dr. Smith make a revolution in the chair when he cannot push off with his foot or anything else? Sure! Why not? Well, let's see. I guess it doesn't look very easy. Nope, it's not easy at all. In fact, it is impossible. There is no way Dr. Smith can go in a circle. The reason why is something called the principle of the conservation of angular momentum. The principle of the conservation of angular momentum states that the same amount of angular momentum has to occur before and after an event. Since Dr. Smith did not have any angular momentum at the beginning of his attempt, he didn't have any angular momentum at the end of his attempt. He can't travel in a circle if he does not possess angular momentum. Okay. Let's let Dr. Smith have angular momentum at the beginning of his attempt, but not angular momentum generated by pushing off on something. Instead, let's let him have a spinning wheel at the beginning of his attempt at traveling in a circle on his rotatable chair. By giving him a spinning wheel, he now has a chance to spin in a circle on his chair. He just has to know what to do with the spinning wheel. Check out these experiments and see if you can guess the right answer. All directions in these experiments are described from your point of view. Dr. Smith sits in a rotatable chair with a counterclockwise spun wheel. Counterclockwise is the direction as seen from your view. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a horizontal position, he moves the wheel up and down while keeping it horizontal. What do you think will happen? There was angular momentum at the beginning and end, however, none of it was transferred to Dr. Smith, so he did not rotate in his chair. Dr. Smith sits in a rotatable chair with a counterclockwise spun wheel. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a horizontal position, he grabs the wheel. What do you think will happen? By grabbing the wheel, the angular momentum transferred to Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith sits in a rotatable chair with a clockwise spun wheel. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a horizontal position, he grabs the wheel. What do you think will happen? By grabbing the wheel, the momentum transfers to Dr. Smith. Momentum is conserved. Let's see if you can get this one. Dr. Smith sits in a rotatable chair with a counterclockwise spun wheel. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a horizontal position, he torques the wheel into a vertical position. What do you think will happen? This was a hard one. A horizontally spinning wheel being made vertical is similar to grabbing the wheel. It slows down the wheel but speeds up Dr. Smith. Angular momentum is conserved by transferring angular momentum from the spinning wheel to Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith sits in a rotatable chair with a clockwise spun wheel. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a horizontal position, he torques the wheel into a vertical position. What do you think will happen? The answer is B. I think I'm getting the idea. But what if he initially holds the wheel vertically, then moves it to a horizontal position? Exactly. That is what Dr. Smith is going to do here. He is sitting in a rotatable chair with a counterclockwise spun wheel. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a vertical position, he torques the wheel into a horizontal position. What do you think will happen?
A vertical spinning wheel becoming horizontal is the same as trying to speed up the wheel. The only way to do that is for Dr. Smith to spin the opposite direction in order for angular momentum to be conserved. Okay, last one. This is your big test. Dr. Smith sits in a rotatable chair with a clockwise spun wheel. Initially holding the spinning wheel in a vertical position, he torques the wheel into a horizontal position. What do you think will happen? I agree. Angular momentum is not something that is easy to understand. But we don't have to completely understand it to have some fun with it.